Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Reading and Raging with Charles C. Patton. I'm your host, Charles C. Patton. Let's get right into it. So this episode is a very special edition of RRC. This is a conversation that I had with my two brothers, Maurice Tandy Patton and Clinton Patton III, who we call Trey. And we did have an outline for this particular episode, but the way that our dynamic is and just how we speak to each other on a regular basis, it turned out to be just a free-flowing conversation, which I thought was very intriguing and interesting uh, listening to it back. And I hope the same for all of you. Um, The episode does have a bit different audio. Uh, there are some portions of it that uh, that do have an echo, and it is sort of hard to make out in certain instances when listening to it, but I think that the content is great, and you'll enjoy it either way. Uh, there is no video for this particular episode because all parties involved were not comfortable being on video, which is perfectly fine, but the content is still great, and... Uh, I'm pretty sure that all of you will enjoy it. Reminder that we do have a website. It is charlescpatton.com. You can go on there and browse and all of our episodes are on that website as well as our book list for our book club, which we will be updating soon. So if you have any questions or concerns or anything, just hit the contact button on the website and I'll respond to anything and everything once I get to it. If you can, please subscribe, follow, and share this episode to your friends and family. Uh, I'm pretty sure you will love this episode. We had a good time together. And you'll see our dynamic as brothers is a very interesting one as you listen to it. But um, for sure, you're going to enjoy it. So without further ado, here's the conversation. Yeah, she was really cool. Nothing really seemed to bother her. And she kept telling me, she was like, you need to stop being so worried. She's like, I'm mm-hmm. not going nowhere. Oh, wait a second. She was really laid back. Like, she was just, she was really like, cool. She kept saying that. She was like, you keep, like, because I kept talking, like, because she, because, like, there was a whole thing about, we haven't had sex yet. Oh, yeah. And I was like, okay, you know, this doesn't bother you that we haven't. She's like, no. I was like, it's just everything. So she making it, everything seem like it's good. Yeah, so in your like, eyes, it's good. And she was like, like. Every time she's like, Why does he, why does that bother? Like, why are you so nervous about that? I was like, Because every time I have sex with somebody, they just like it's pretty much that's it. Like we leave. And she's like, Well, I understand. She kept saying, like, I get that, I hear you, but like I'm not I'm not going anywhere. Like you gotta stop thinking like that. You told her what? He told her that every <laughs> He told her that every time he has sex with somebody, they end up leaving. And you also said that was like it seemed like once that happened, that's all they wanted from you, right? Yeah, like, when did you tell her this? At the beginning, when she was supposed yeah, to tell her. And then even the last time she was here. The last time she was here, you told her this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we've been talking every day since then, since she left. Yeah, she left like a week ago. Okay, hey, you saying that to somebody? Like, are you saying that because you don't want to have sex with her? No, I do. He actually does. So, why would you say that to her? Because I was explaining it. Okay, in this case, a man doesn't want to have sex for that reason. It's not that I don't. But if a woman didn't want to have sex, you know, you got to respect that. But with him, but I feel like with us, you got to respect that as well. I mean, yeah. She says, stop apologizing when you don't even know what for. Okay, good. Can, Can I ask what for? No. no. Just, Just leave it. Leave it. You already did. Leave it. Don't say okay or anything. No. Mm-mm. Don't say anything. Yeah, just, just okay back. No. Because you obviously... Show her that you read to... it. Oh, shit. And then get off of it. And get yeah. off of it. And don't text her again. She's she not going to tell you what the hell you did. She don't want to talk fuck? right now. She don't want to talk right now. Like, that's childish. How are you not going to... Just let her sit back and think about that for a second. What you just said kind of like... A little bit. I'm just so tired of this. 
Because like you said that you told her that you don't want to have sex with someone because they usually when you have sex with them, they leave. That's not what I meant. I didn't mean it like that. No, what did you say? Okay. Okay. No, I'm asking if I'm repeating. No, like like that is word for word word what I said. But (laughs) the reasoning behind it was because we were talking about it. Because I was like, I was like, this because... I was like, this is, I, like, I brought up saying, like, this is weird for me because by now I would have, like, we would have had sex by now. Because she's been here a couple times. Mm-hmm. So now, like, you we said like, that in a way that was, you were saying that you did want to have sex? Yes. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm giving you a pretext. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because we were talking about it. Because it was starting to get a little. And I, I, I kept stopping. And I was like, fuck, like, this is, like, really difficult for me. Because, like, I really want to do this. But I want this to be, like, something for real, for real, because I always jump into shit like that. So, so like, in this moment, you were actually thinking, like, I actually want to follow through with my theory, like, as far as, you know, what you, yeah. Because she already seemed like she was so cool on every other level. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to have he didn't sex with mess anybody that you're not committing to. But now I'm thinking, like, I'm now going back on everything I've ever said. Wait, 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 wait. Are you damned if you do, you, damned if you don't? Are you saying that you want? I'm confused with what you want. Then, do you want a relationship with this girl? Yes. Did you tell her you want a relationship with her? Yes. And what did she say? She, she said she did. Too. I asked her like, "You just because like it was before she came last time. We were on the phone on Facetime, and I was like, do you see this like going somewhere? Like, do you see this being something more than just you know as just talking?" And she's like, "Yeah." And I said, "Okay, cool. I just want to make sure we're on the same page because I do too." Hmm. And, and I, I kept telling her, I was like, I don't want you to leave. Like, I don't want you to leave. Like, I've been hurt so many times before because I'm not the type of person who can only go halfway in on stuff. Yeah. I'm not the type of person that can only be like, all right, I'm getting my toe in this. That's not who I am. And y'all know that all. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not either. When I, I'm I, either. Yeah, when I get into something with somebody, I fall past I go forward. right into yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in it all the way. Like, any, anything that I do. And you want to do that with her? Yeah. Why do you see... Because, because I'm, I'm just, just trying, trying to figure out, out I'm, trying I'm trying to gauge, because she didn't tell you what the hell was wrong. Yeah, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to. That's the toughest part. I'm trying to give something, because it's like, initially I thought, okay, well, she might be upset that you said that you, um, you don't want to just have sex with somebody, just to have sex with them. You want to, every time you have sex with somebody, they leave and you don't want that with her. So she could have, like, thought of, like, oh, shit, well, is this dude, like, so I can't have sex with him unless I'm sure that I'm going to stay with him. What if I'm not sure that I want to, you know, commit or whatever, but I also want to have sex? Okay, but we're also just in a talking stage. So now I'm confused as to, like, we can't have sex because that means that, I would have to commit to him because I don't want to be that motherfucker who leaves on him. And but I'm also like, oh, but we're just in a talking stage. We haven't, you know, moved past it. And it seems as though and I your, next level. Lab, you, the, your your identifier of this is moving now to something more is sex. And what if she's just like, damn, I just want to have sex and I want to keep continue talking, but I don't want it to be like I have sex with him and now I got to commit to him just because we had sex. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, but why would she say something like that before? She probably doesn't know how, how to articulate it. No, but this seems like something definitive. Like, 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 like the way she's talking, talking and the way she's... Because it's... It, it, it could also be bullshit. bullshit. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's, not That's not what I mean. What the fuck? Everybody said 
I'm so serious. They do be on some bullshit. Sometimes I feel like things just sometimes they want things to happen just for it to be shit going on. Mm -hmm. But that Addicted like to the drama. This was, this was, uh, but you, 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 like you said, you've only known her for a couple of weeks. So you don't know. You her. haven't known her through all her seasons yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> things change, and the reason why things change is because you continue to learn about people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Everybody. What, what were you? What were you telling me? Y'all at the beginning. Y'all at the beginning. Yeah. Y'all was at the beginning. That's that's pu that's puppy. Well, we're puppy. not even like we're not, that's, we're not together or anything like that. But y'all still know. spending time with each other. Y'all doing more with each other than friends usually do. So yeah, y'all right sleeping in the same bed. Y'all yeah. cuddling up. Y'all watching forms of movies. movies. Y'all kissing. Y'all doing all that stuff. But now I'm trying to think. But the worst part about this right now. You like, trying to think I'm about what you did. Trying to think about every single conversation. Every single interaction, like everything, like what could I possibly, have? and even stuff outside of it, like maybe I did something that didn't run her the right way. And but you don't even know it. because to you it was okay. Exactly. You know what? Like, you know what like, really like, fucks me up with this situation, Trey. She's not telling you what the fuck is going so on. So that's why you gotta just, just let, let it be. Let her get ready to do it because, because if she doesn't want to talk about something, something, it's not happening. Yeah. What's her sign? Nigga, I don't know. What's, What's her, her birthday? birthday? I don't know. Damn. Nigga, are you really getting this heated about this motherfucker? You don't even know her damn birthday? I didn't get all her damn... I'm sorry I didn't get her social security information. Nobody that. said anything about social security. I said I was birthday. Just really? No. My social security. Do you know her last name? Huh? What is it? What's her last name? I don't even know her last name. Huh? Let me hey, if you don't know somebody's birthday... Then there's no reason for you to be getting bent out of shape about that. They act in the fool. Like like <laughs> I, I guarantee you, I don't let it pop. <laughs> Imagine saying <laughs> that. <laughs> when we really. <laughs> this needs to be the podcast. Hey! It, it is, bro. Imagine saying that. Imagine saying that. And people be like, damn, Charles, how are you? <laughs> Like, you going on your preaching to us, nigga. All like, right, you posting all this shit. You ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, they don't know what going on behind closed doors. Everybody thinks so. Now, I'm going to say this to all the talkers. Y'all think so out here. Preaching oh and living his life. Like, this is echelon of a way. Everybody needs to be like, you know what? I'm going to watch this. And I'm, we are Charles' brothers. We know it all since he was a, since he came out the fucking room. Wait. We know exactly how Charles is. Hold on, Charles, Charles ain't all that. Wait a minute. Ain't hey, none of us all that. Really. Pause. I have never man. claimed to be any of these things. Charles, stop. See, you trying to get No. <laughs> you canceled, nigga. Nah, nah I guess. I've always we claimed. Hit, I have always claimed to be these. someone who is on a journey and who is learning oh, and trying to learn know, every day. I'm serious. We not look. No, wait, wait, wait. Look. Now, <laughs> yes, I have. I have grown. I have grown when it comes to this relationship stuff. It's been an evolution I used to, of Charles. I used to be. I wasn't like you know. So you didn't give a fuck. It wasn't, it wasn't, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't that. It was, if you, if we want to be for real, for real about it. Keep it a stack. Like, for real. Mm -hmm. I was, I, I didn't know this at the time, but after doing, you know, the therapy stuff and all, whatever, I realized that I had it in my mind that I was a bad boyfriend. So that you kind of punish great, yourself? That I was a great friend. I was mm -hmm. a great friend. But I was a bad boyfriend. You are a great friend. And that's how I had it. That's how I had. Oh my gosh, that's not that's not true. That's not true. I'm actually a whole lot more forgiving when it comes to my friends. We not We started going for right? You no, I was the same way when I was my no, friend. Trey, he give was. me an example. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, shit, here we go. Uh, there is no example. There is no example. That's an example right there. Okay. okay. No, you're my brother. That's, That's a difference, difference between 
like a chosen friend. I'm saying that's different. It's like a built in yeah. best friend. Like, it's just. Like no, we don't have to be. And sometimes, a lot of times, we're not. Because I, I just. It's a lot. But damn. I mean, it is. You were saying we were agreeing. I know. Yeah. That's about the first time y'all agreed in three years. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Damn. Well, I mean, we, no, this podcast is bringing the best out of y'all niggas. We very, we are completely different, but a lot alike in the same ways, though. Yeah. Actually, we're no, very, right, we right, are right. very emotional yeah, and right. sensitive people. Yeah, yeah. Well, we handle, we handle it differently. Mm. Mine goes more to anger. Yours goes more to deep meditation and <laughs> you dig. Charles is a oh motherfucker. Plant. Charles, Charles is a plant. Charles will go, you know what? Not mistake. <laughs> You're right. Like, you Me love it. Nah, go, nah, but I've, I've seen kiss Charles kiss. get. I was about to say, look, I have. Look, hey. Oh, I have gotten No, mad. nigga, I've seen destruction. <laughs> I'm talking Dude, you know, about the like, destruction of property. Okay, yeah. One was because of y'all two. Because of me. The other what one I do was yes, yeah, some, I just be some issues. Big coolish. No, that Christmas. That oh yeah. Me break the nah, listen. No, that was no, that was my fault. I look. It was both of y'all. In the moment, or was it just Marie? It was just me. It was definitely look. I was the Child. culprit. But look, I didn't do it nothing to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> but at that time. At that time, you know, I couldn't take the rap for it, you know what I'm saying? Just because shit was hot, you feel me? Like, we, we right, it was, it, was, it was Christmas Eve, you know what I'm saying? And we already been, was fucking up throughout the year, so we, we, we ain't get as much, we really did Because that was what, was that sophomore year? Yeah, oh, we barely got yeah. anything that year. Sophomore year was But we mess. still got stuff. Yeah. They brought out the extra shit. Yes. Like, this was all. What a guy. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look. No, no they they let us open it. They was like, Oh remember? yeah, yeah. They was like, Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's what you would have had. Y'all keep these clothes and shoes. Y'all keep these clothes and shoes. Yeah, they nice. Keep them clothes and shoes. But they gave it to us later. Yeah, I was about to say. And they said, I know they said something. That's when I failed a, a math test. See when you say that now, it's like that's not even that. It was just one. People don't know, but failing a math. No, I'm saying. Hell yeah. No, that's what I'm Charles. Charles got a D, but I think I was the one who brought his overboard. Who was this man? Oh, oh hell no! I ain't getting no F. Yeah, no. no. I've gotten the F on a mid on a on like a what's the no 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 like no like the midterm before. Might as well the midterm. Yeah, like the, I feel like like at the midpoint, I've had an F, and I brought it back up to like a B. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes they would send the they would send the grades home. It's like a midterm. Yeah, like a midterm grade. It's usually the term for a test, like a test that you take. Midterms denote the middle. Yeah, my grade at that midterm, my grade was an F, but we had another half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's exactly. midterms. We're not about to get into this. I don't understand why you're not understanding this. No, we always do this. We be on some serious shit, and then Charles gets stuck on a fucking word. We be doing that shit for three years. That's another thing I don't know about Charles. Charles gets stuck on some shit. I do get very. Everybody knows what we talk about. Everybody knows what you're trying to say. Charles be like, but seriously though, it's this. No, because because you kept saying like. You kept, you kept using, using the, the right, right word, but saying before, and you kept saying the same thing. And I'm like, no, no Charles, that's the right. midterm. Okay. Move on. Okay. All right. Nevertheless. Yeah. Host. <laughs> well, I well, said um, we <laughs> we've already had, we've already, no, it wasn't you know, a started, but I still haven't, you know. Welcome to a special edition of Reading and Raging with Charles C. Patton. I'm your host, Charles C. Patton, and I'm here with. My two wonderful brothers. Uh, I'm actually the middle child. Oh, wow, I am. Well, mm, give or take. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Depends on how you look at it. Yeah, depends on how you look at it. Like, right now, I'm in the middle. It's really not depends on how you look at it. Right now, he's the middle child. At this moment, in Charles is the middle child. Yes. Okay. In this situation. Mm-hmm. Maurice and I are about, like, what, six months apart? Yeah. Okay, but he's fine, older. Fine, 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 fine. But Whatever. he's still... Whatever. No, no, no. As y'all have heard so far, we have 
Go ahead and introduce yourselves, um, sirs. Okay, so what do I say? What information would you like me to give? Uh, Just say your name and your, I mean, I've already said we're brothers, so just your name. Uh, Would you like for me to say? This is a special episode. This is a special episode. Like my my university, like where I'm I'm from. Absolutely, actually, yes. Say your, give everything. I'll give, give everything. Me an HBCU introduction. Okay. Mm-hmm. Put your, uh, put your I am not putting my social security <laughs> number. But, but my name is Maurice. Maurice. Uh, well, you, well, you said, said Charles C. E. Patton. It's so I'll say you, yeah. my name is Maurice Tandy Patton. You know, and I went to Grambling State University. Proud alumni. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, my hometown is Cincinnati, Ohio, but I have been in the South for the past ten years. So I'm kind of... He's a southerner. Yeah. Midwest is worse. Actually. Yeah, but he's a southerner. Okay. He went, he went deeper, deeper south than any of us oh, have oh, gone. I'm so sorry. I'm no, sorry. he's... Go he's ahead. Still oh, talk. But I did go deeper south. Right? Yeah, yeah, he went deeper south than any of us have lived. Yeah. Because, like... No, because... You just couldn't let it go. Okay. I'm no, sorry, it's okay. I, I, I wasn't tripping. We're, it's a conversation. No, but, but we got to edit the introduction so, so we can get started. He finished his introduction. This is a special edition. It not I was about to say, this is a very, very special edition. edition. Special edition. Oh, it's a special edition. <laughs> And all with like squid coming out. Because the outline is, is But yeah, I'm not giving my my entire story. Mm-hmm. Maurice no, no, Tandy yeah, Patton, yeah. Gramlin State yeah. University yeah. from Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I'm the, I'm the oldest. Clint Patton III. From, I'm originally, I'm originally from Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Just like Charles. Uh, not, not proud, proud alumni anywhere. anywhere. Cause I, 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 do, I do. I went, I went to Coastal. Coastal, Coastal, Coastal Carolina University. Excuse me. Love, Love Coastal. Coastal. Nah, nah, nah. Still, Still working, working on that. But, but you know what it is. Uh, what else, what else did, did you say? Um. What? I, think I mean, you pretty much said what I said. Yeah. I don't have a name. name. No, but you do go by Trey. 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 Yeah. yeah. I go by a lot of things. Well, we'll be calling you Trey because yeah. that's oh, yeah, that's yeah. what the family. Because y'all never call me Clayton. The family calls no him way. Trey or CC. I already got somebody I call Clayton. Who? Yo, Dad. <laughs> I mean, well, Clint. Uncle Clint. Yeah. I can't say that too many times. Yeah. No. I'm never. But, uh, Plus, happy, happy to be. We happy to be here. I don't know who all be watching this or listening to this. We see y'all whenever he be editing video. We see y'all. Are you we talking about the other people that other are on the podcast? podcast? Okay. Or we, we walked in on a couple of years. You have. You definitely have. We apologize. Mm-hmm. Not really. You, you know, know what? <laughs> but you know, Charles, you're very intuitive. You want me to tell you why? Why? Because that time that we walked in. You set out the peanut butter and jelly and oh, stuff. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, you put all the right. So, because I knew. Exactly. <laughs> Charles is so, like, but with all his team, we were dancing. Oh, yeah, we were dancing behind the camera. <laughs> Every time we get a chance, we behind Charles. Hey, but you know we what? Charles holds his composure. It, but he knows he wants to laugh. I he not. smiled a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> you got, we got him to crack his smile for sure. I do not. I actually don't like when that happens because I feel like I have to keep it inside. But you don't like when you have when we do that. No. Oh no. We thought it was funny. It was. That's why I don't like it. Oh. Because we think it's funny. Yes, but I have to time a smile or a laugh to get some relief because you know when I'm laughing I have to get it out. Why can't you? Now you are a different breed when it comes to laughing. Because podcasts are supposed to be. Like, like authentic, authentic things, right? Hmm. So why Tell me. Like, like, sorry, like, sorry, my brother's, brother's just got here and acting the fool behind. Because that's not the. That's so you not mean the type you of mean to like open them up to my actual. It depends on my actual space, space. but it also depends on what we're talking about too, because it's like. If it fits, sometimes if somebody's like giving a, a vulnerable story or something, oh, okay. yeah. and I'm sitting here like really trying to listen, and then y'all, right. why don't you, you, just, you should have, have like a cold finger thing, thing and he throws it. Throw you know, that's actually a good idea. Throw it like a gang sign. Don't do that. Now we'll, 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 or you know, yeah. or you know, the universal <laughs> sign with his middle finger. No, the finger. One second. Okay. I know. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying that because. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> 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 I 
I'm, Sorry. That's going out. Yeah. Be honest. But the fi- no, I said the finger because um, because I've done that multiple times. Yeah, to no to no avail. It doesn't. Why did you use that? Can't you? Because I don't have anything else. Could you put like a bleep right there? What? Just like instead of just editing the whole thing, I'll just put a bleep. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna oh, do you want bleep? It's gonna be a bleep. Because good lord. And mm-hmm. actually, since we're saying this now, you have can to cut this out too. Are we not supposed to be cursing? You can no. curse. You can do whatever. No. Don't curse. We've already cursed. I was about, about to say. It's I didn't. Too late. I didn't. Most I didn't. <laughs> what I, anyway, what I say? Anyway, anyway, we got to record it exactly. So exactly. we actually, we actually have things that we wanted to discuss. I know, and it you know, got besides the point. Okay. I know. I have a strong feeling. And this, this probably will get, get, I bet y'all gonna get roasted in the story. Trey, what? But, don't, don't get, get mad at me. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get No cap though, but like, is, is this gonna be on there? Like, yes. the, this yeah, type of color? Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling like this is, this is, this is good. This is the way that we're vibing right now. This is how we are. Yeah. This is exactly how we are. Can you continue on with what you were saying? Okay. First of all, I'm attacked. Oh, oh Lord! Yeah, yeah. Somebody, he gonna Secondly, be on Wendy Williams. Secondly, what, what I was saying was, we were talking, talking about, about <laughs> we were talking, talking about the female. female or, excuse me, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Thank you. The, the woman, woman, right? The, the woman. woman. Why are you asking me? <laughs> you just said right. right. But I'm trying to be oh my gosh! But you have to say right, right. when you have to say woman like oh is that correct? Who are you talking about? It depends on who you're talking it's a, about. You're, you're talking about You're talking about a woman. Okay. A that is okay. She identifies as a woman. And she does, right? Straight. Okay. Yes. 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 Straight. Are you looking for the... As I'm saying, is that yes? I think he's yes. trying to make sure that he's saying yes. Because, because you're more she's a cis head woman. You want me to Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, but you think that he's... Joking. No, because, wait a second, because you said female first, and then you were like, oh, wait, sorry. And he looked at me, I was like, yeah, okay. And then I said, woman, and I said, right. Right, but what was... You told me that my, that what I is a lot of words. And then I was like, I don't remember being that, but okay, let me make sure I remember. And I don't want to be disrespectful. He said, let me make sure I remember. Charles was an African boy, he's just laughing. Oh my God! I'm trying to be political. Right? All the causes. Listen, that is members of all the communities, the entire spectrum that is sexuality. Oh my God! Charles is. I feel like I feel like I'm being oppressed. Oh my God! No way! Oh my God! No, you didn't switch it back to you. Wait a minute! No. Right back. to Okay. Boomerang. Hold up. The re. I am not laughing at you. I'm laughing at. What, I said. Not what you're, you're saying. saying. No. What I'm saying is no, 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 no. I'm Let laughing at, at the, the, the misinformed context, context that oh, wow. you're like right. hey, putting hey, out there as it, as, as it relates to me. Yeah. But, but that's and the reason why I'm laughing. I'm yeah, laughing, laughing because, not because you're trying to get it right or you're trying to, you know, know the language or whatever. I'm, no, I'm laughing because, ooh. Why am I laughing? Oh, wow. wow. For all of those who are reading, you're reading. No. We just caught Charles as a speech. No, no, no. Like, I'm not. I'm that laughing is a segment. because we've had this conversation, like, several times. And we have. Just, yeah. We have. And it was just funny to me that you said female first. And you said, oh, no. So y'all have had the conversations, but you ain't learned nothing. And then you said, and then you said <laughs> woman, and then you said right. It's like Trey, what? But you might have learned a little bit of something. Right. What, like, <laughs> but that's the thing I'm trying to because this is a different platform, right? Right. This is something okay. that uh, there's, there's, there's it's widely. I mean, I'm, I'm sure, sure this is national claim, though. But, but the, the thing, thing, the thing is, is though, it shows great, great progress that at least you can stop yourself from thinking. Yep. Right now, you're right. But the thing that was also funny to me was you were asking me. To tell, to tell you, you what the what correct, correct terminology, terminology was to use for someone, someone I have no, I, I don't know their identity. I don't know. But I'm saying, know. Straight, but I'm saying before you said that. She's a woman who identifies as her gender. Yes. And she 
she's straight. Yeah, she's, she's a cis. Cis. Head. She's Why a does cis, it sound like cisgender heterosexual? Looked at a PowerPoint. That's, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like that's what it's kind of. That's, that's like, kind of what it has to be. Like, like, especially for somebody who's not a member of the LGBTQIA plus community. So we go to school and then we got to come out. You did. Yeah, yeah, I did. See, I didn't say what I was going to say. Oh, God. Because there's more letters. Okay. But that's how there's. That's the plus. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's what the first mm-hmm. we, we never, never got, got around, around to whatever, whatever story, story you were going to tell. Oh, 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 Yeah. What were you talking about? I was about to say, you were. It was your story. Uh, oh, oh, no, I was saying, saying that we should. Uh, I was saying that I know that I would probably get. Um, people would probably get upset by me saying the fact that what we were talking about when we started, you know, interactions with um, a woman. You know, especially somebody you just now meeting, which honestly for me, that happens a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, because it's hard. It's really, really, really hard. This is, oh, is going to sound so bad. Like, it's not hard for men. I'm sorry. Like, the world, where life is not hard for men. I don't want to. You're talking, talking about your individual experience. Yes, yes. yes. Well, individually speaking, as somebody who I consider, my, I consider myself to be a pretty good guy. Mm-hmm. Like, I consider myself to be a good guy. I've never been told that I was a bad guy. In fact, I've had women like, tell me that they didn't want to pursue something with me because they felt like I was too good for them. Now, I don't know if that was just something they were saying for my benefit, for like my uh, ego or whatever. So like, I guess, so they wouldn't bruise my ego, but that's what I've been told. And I think I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty good, good person. person. Have you been told you're like a nice guy? Yes, okay. like a nice guy. And, and, and that every single time, every single time that happens, like I meet somebody, it, it's very hard to convey that I am a nice guy, that I'm not somebody who's only looking for sex, or I'm not a guy who is just going to use you um, with like eight eight or ten other women that I'm talking to, or I'm not just going to ghost you because I get bored, you know, or just like treat you like more like an object and not like a partner, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody who I would see as a partner. So once I get that across, after a while, I'll start to look like, for, less of a, for lack of a better term, a bitch. Like... Just, just a little, little like, like you said a pitch. Bitch. Oh, okay. You know exactly what I said. No, you know, I, I thought, thought you were substituting it or something like like that because um, it's, it's like, like I I, I feel, feel like for me, me what do you mean? You know, be, what do you mean by that? Like because because, uh, because I I have a bad habit, habit of apologizing. Yeah, like, like, I got apologize and I've really been working on that, but I still apologize a lot. And the second that something seems like it's wrong. I want to like be like, okay, how can I work on this? How can I fix this? Like, how can I, how can I be better with this? Yeah. And then it's like, then there, then comes the answers of like the one I just got. Stop, don't apologize if you don't know what for. But you haven't told me what I did wrong. But it, but you upset about you upset about something I did. But you won't tell me what I did wrong. Or or I get ghosted, you know. Um, or um, uh, I get told that I'm, I'm too, too nice. nice. You know, mm-hmm. uh, or, or I, I get, get told, told that, that I'm pushover. Mm-hmm. I get told that um, no, no woman is going to want to be with somebody who can't take control. Mm-hmm. But, but then, then if you try, try to take control, control either you overdo, overdo it, it mm-hmm. or uh, it's, it's taken, taken as uh, uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the term? Um, abusive? Abusive. Yeah, yeah, like, no, 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 not like abusive, abusive but like dominating. Like, dominating. Okay. Like, not, not like not like in a sexual, sexual way. That's just I different. get what you like, mean. <clears throat> like literally <throat> having dominion over their body. Yeah, yeah like, like, like trying to say like this is how it's gonna be because I'm the man. Like you know that's not what I, that's not what it is. But it's like they want you to take control. They want you to be in charge. They want you to be you know show yourself and all that. But then when I try to show like that softer side of like I still want to understand you. I still want to be a, be able to be emotionally open with you. Be able to be emotionally vulnerable with you. Like the second that starts to happen, it's like, oh, why are you like? Hold on, like I need, like I want somebody who's gonna be um, more, more of like. I mean, they say like more of a man, but I think they mean like more of like the typical old school, like what, like what it meant to be a man in that sense. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so okay. Like, I feel like that is is just. I just think like in the dating world, that's hard. Like it's hard for me. it's hard for me at least. Yeah, um, I know who to be You know, <laughs> when you when you were saying that I do. And this like idea of like the nice guy or like being a good person, not in the sense of like 
literal being a good person, like being a, you know, being of sound moral values and, and all that stuff. But like in relation to being in relationship with somebody being like that goody person or whatever, like I think that a lot of times that can maybe cloud um, and I'm only speaking for myself and what I've realized from my from my own experiences that that can cloud our own uh one narcissistic tendencies to um this idea of I deserve or I should have or because I do this I should get this mentality that I think that a lot of people who have grown up in the society as men or as masculine presenting because we're just kind of told all the time that either something is a conquest or something is or we're deserving of I think it's a little different when in Trey's regard because I don't think so let me okay let me explain. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a little different because Trey is not saying I'm a, since I'm a nice guy, you have to be this way. He's saying that I think that I'm giving you, I'm, I was thinking that I was giving you what you need and you were telling me what you need. And I thought that I was doing that. Now it's something different. What do I need to change now? It's not like, oh, I'm just a nice guy. So you should be, so you should be all up on me. It's more so, hey, you told me what you need. I'm giving you what you need, but you're not. It doesn't seem like you're being receptive to that. Right. So what's and, going on? And there's no reciprocity with right. that. Right. It's not okay. it's not like Trey is just standing just standing ten toes like, no, I'm a nice guy. He's like actively trying to see what the root of the problem is because he thought he was doing good, but now it's like, okay, I may have been mistaken. Now what do I need to do? So you know what I also hear in that? I hear uh that you have this tendency and I'm saying you, but I'm also talking to myself because I saw this in myself as well, that there's a tendency to change who you are and like change who you are so that it fits the narrative that this person sees you as or how you feel like they see you as and you want to keep up that whatever. Because I've done that. I've done it because I used to always think that like, oh, if I do this or if I'm, you know, a, a nice guy or whatever, then, you know, more times than not, things will work out positively. And if you and what I'm trying to get at is that you can't continue to like be in these situations with these women and continue changing yourself or even be in these relationships with these women and not even know yourself enough to know when you're changing or when you're shifting something that is your core value. Because what it sounds like to me also from what you were saying was that at your core, you are, you are loving, you are always thinking about what the other person needs, you are, you know, uh, you're soft with them, you're, you know, caring, you're uh, emotionally available, all of these things, right? But you were also saying, but it seems like when I do that, they want something else. And then if I do that, then it, but it's like, no, no, no. It's not, this doesn't sound like a, like, generalization, like this is what women want. This sounds like something that is that these people that you're with aren't receiving or don't necessarily are able to receive because somebody else isn't like able to receive like the type of love that you're you know giving if it's not you know abusive or or if it's not you know neglecting or or whatever because what it sounds like from what you're saying is that it's not then you it'll always be contention because people think that they need something that they see on TV or that they you know 
mm. whatever when that's really not what what you need mm-hmm. or really what you for real for real want because that just ends in disaster. It's something that you always said, and when we used to live with Gma and Granddad, you uh you actually had a yes. Um, I'm just confused on how you were talking about Charles interrupting. Yeah, I was and now really you go into what he was saying. See, hell is something else. Um, but he had a quote written on the wall. You know, he I think it was a sticky note that you had. Um, and it said that comparison is the thief of all joy. So, you know, you running around here watching TikTok, you seeing what the couples are doing on there, you know, you're going on Instagram, you're looking at pictures, you see, you know, to what you think, these are ha- these are happy couples. Yeah. I'm not saying that they may not be. I'm just saying that you're trying to compare yourself to them and you're trying to analyze your life and you're saying, oh, these aren't the same, so I'm not receiving what I want. Mm-hmm. You know, you're making that comparison and it's still in your reality. Yeah. And with everything y'all saying, First, I want to say is I completely agree with what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I completely agree with that. Because I don't know if you were there, but we had a conversation just like this mm-hmm. about comparison. And like comparison, this. man. He told me. Live your he truth. Me, he said, he said like one of the biggest issues. And I, I think you might have been there. I think you might have been there. Um, he said um, like one of the biggest issues I have is that I'm always trying to put up like a mask. I was there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he's always trying to put up like a mask when I meet new people, mm-hmm. right? And, and you, you and I have talked about this a lot. Mm-hmm. One, about this. I'm going to interject real quick. I don't want you to think that that's like exclusive to you. Because all of us do that to some extent. And so you realize, wait, this is me. So, and I can't be anybody else. So this is what you're going, this is what you're going to get. This is who I am. Now, if there are things that I should improve on as a person. Of course, I want you, you know, I want you to help me strive to be that. But as far as the different things and the alternative things that you request, if those are not, if that's not me, you got to know who you're, you got to know your audience. You have to know who you're dealing with. You have to know the person who you're in a partnership with. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to know that without time. Yeah. And, but at the beginning, you have to be analyzing those things and seeing like, Hey, I didn't, you know, I don't like what he just did or I don't like what she just did. And and that's, and that's why I ask questions Mm -hmm. all the time. Like, yeah. even you saw when we were hanging out with me and her, I was always asking her stuff. Mm-hmm. Always. Now, excuse me, I'm sorry. The pizza coming back up. Y'all were, <laughs> y'all were, <laughs> my bad. Y'all were um, saying the thing about, I was saying the thing about the mask. I took, the last time we talked about that, uh, I think it was really, what? Oh, I think it was really, for some reason it hit me differently that time. I don't know why. It's we were there. driving, right? All three of us in the car. We were driving. Yeah. I was driving. No, I was driving. No, I was driving back from Chester. Chester. Oh, then I was not there. Yes, yes you were. Yeah, oh, you then were. I was there. You were. Yeah, we, yeah, we went to go I see. I was driving because you had driven there. No, you drove there that time. Whatever. It, it was, was on. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was in the back seat. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, we were talking about that. But I remember that conversation because you both and you both worded it differently too. To where like. It was you were like kept too. telling me like you were like, look, we are not trying to come at you. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, we are really not. We are All really progress. Not you something that we see, like, and you like, it was crazy because you kept harping on that, and and that also made me think a little bit about myself as far as like how intense you have to tell me that you're not coming to me, like how defensive. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. Oh my so, goodness. Don't, don't. Okay. All right. Calm down. But but see, anyway, but Charles had to go to the OMG. I, I just hit him with a mm. Come on. What I'm, saying is, what I'm saying is when y'all said that, I was like, I don't want to say it was a wake-up call, but it was because... You got to be yourself. Yeah, but the past, couple, <laughs> the past couple people that I've met, I really was like, you know what? I'm just about to be me. I'm, I'm just going to do me. First time, we know how that... It really worked very well. Mm-hmm. I was mostly not really on my side. But that's See, but it's really not. It doesn't mean it's your fault. See, I frequencies know, no, 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 they got a match. This is what I'm saying. Like y'all, the the point that y'all are making about um putting like a like putting up fronts and all that stuff. I'm saying like in this situation, I didn't do that. Ah, 
But that doesn't mean that that's... I understand that you really, you know what I'm saying, you really like her and everything. I understand that you do, but emotions are just what they are. I just don't understand what and I'm getting. Emotions. Every relationship is not meant to last. Mm hmm. Just and, because. Oh, sorry. 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 No, go ahead. I'm saying that emotions are temporary. You feel things and then you don't. You feel things about something. And then a year later, you feel you can change. Yeah, they change. So, so it's like that. That's the that's you may, the gamble you make. Sometimes you don't see things at the beginning because you're just so happy to be with somebody. Yeah, and it's a new person, and you've never been with them, mm -hmm. and you're trying to figure all this stuff out about them, and it's exciting. But then you figure it out, and then it's like, okay, like it's not like things. See, just like what I said earlier. Things don't change. You just learn more. Yeah. You learn more. And then you course correct. And I, and I hear you. And, you I, like, and, I, and I firmly believe that too. I firmly believe that too because that was made very apparent by like other stuff that like we've been, like this is in the past year. Like I feel like we all have been. Have you learned anything from not this particular situation, but the previous one? Did you learn anything about yourself from there? From you talking that? about with the not, not this, this one, one, but the other one. The, one. the other one I was in. The other one that was here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you? Okay, great. Did that end? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's what, what that was, was for. Mm -hmm. no, I Whatever you. No, I understand. All that. But I'm saying the way that you were wording it. That, but, but that's, that's what I'm saying. It's how you think about things as well. Mm -hmm. The way that you were wording it was like, I did this for these past two, and we saw the other one came out. Uh, oh, okay. It's like, yeah. no, no, no. Right, right, like, right. yes, you put yourself out there. You let it be known. This is me. This is what it is. And like, not in a in a sense of like, oh, I'm not willing to change. Change, but not not necessarily change your makeup, but like not change your values. It's your really values transparency. You exactly. You you did that. Hey, that's good on you. You are good. Mm -hmm. You learned that. Okay, moving on. You didn't do anything wrong. You were transparent. Okay, but at what point initially? At what point does it does it get to the point where it's like In order for things to change right now, she has to be receptive. At this point in time, she's not. So you gotta wait for her to get to that point. That's the answer to your current question. And I don't too. mind being. I don't mind. But that, that's not what. But that's not the part that I'm harping on. Mm -hmm. I understand that. That's mm -hmm. something we have all talked about in great detail. Mm -hmm. Being like a relationship. Not that we in a relationship, but I'm saying like a relationship is work. Yeah. Like constantly, nonstop is work right. on both sides. That's what it is, and I understand that. And and a lot of times, most times, it's about being patient. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, and sometimes the some sometimes like the biggest wake up call and we I think I said this to you before, like the other day when we were talking about your situation. I was like, when you realize Yeah. Yeah, we ain't here, we ain't getting that. When I, when you realize <laughs> that you're in a relationship that you have a great moment mm -hmm. and you go through hell for the next however long period of time just because you are fighting, driving, clawing your way to another good moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's, that's a problem. problem. That's a problem. That's, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that. Oh, my bad. Yeah. You let me finish. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, so, so, so I was just a precursor. Oh, my gosh. But, I can't but, tell no, you. but no, like, if, 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 if you realize in that, the only, like the good times that you're thinking about are all past memories, and you just hoping and praying that I can, if I can just get through this, if we can just get through this, we can be back to being. Good. Yeah. It shouldn't be like that. No. no. Like because you go, you're going to struggle. At, At that, that point, yeah. you gotta figure. You can't even keep going through that cycle. You gotta figure out the root. Yep. Yeah. You gotta you gotta, you gotta figure out the root. Because obviously something <clears throat> something's up. Because, because that keeps happening. Where it's like, damn, I remember a couple months ago when we were good. Let's go ahead and get back. Is to is it a situation to where something needs to be fixed, or does it, or is it a situation to where this run its course? That's the thing. That, and then that's what I'm saying. Like that's that's not where you want to be. Nope. Now, but, this is, but but sometimes it could be. Necessary. I was about to say. Some, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. sometimes yeah. But also, like. Cause that you doesn't mean things, that it's man. a failed relationship. I don't really necessarily believe in failed relationships because, no, I don't. Because like, 
relation not like I said I, I'm a firm believer in all relationships are not meant to last forever oh, yeah, like some people Ex- for except for this one <laughs> you said what except for this one when, when you win a relationship, relationship that's right. Right. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey, don't play. Hey, that thing. No. Hey, I love it how you bundle. Listen, you gonna be like after it's done. Of course you like yeah, for sure. That that one is course. But in it, you like we going to the top. Oh, photo. Oh, we ain't stopping. No, wait a minute. That's so true. As oh one, oh as God. one. That's so true. That is so true. That's so funny. That's so true. And it's always. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Can you? Like, you like, don't know what I don't, I don't yeah, care what y'all, y'all talking about. What? Y'all didn't feel what I felt. Y'all not in it. So such a mouth. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey, you don't know him. You don't know but, him. But I do think. You don't know me. I do think that, though, that, like, with every relationship, you do find out more about, like, Locating patterns, uh, seeing red flags, oh, yeah, uh, like all of that stuff, and not necessarily like bowing out when certain things happen, but you have more of an idea of what your breaking points are and like how to better communicate what you don't like and what you're not okay with. So then that, you know, creates more. Sorry. No, no, good, good. Um, I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but, but with, with that, that <laughs> right, right, with that though, I think that just feeding off of what or piggybacking off of what you're saying, that type of stuff, you, I feel like you learn that better when you're in a really good relationship. Like mm-hmm. if you had a relationship that was in your past that was really good, you learn more about your red flags, more about the things you're not cool mm-hmm. with because mm-hmm. those stand out more. Mm-hmm. When, you're mm-hmm. good. when you're in like a and, and like, like I said, you don't you know, like, like, you may not like, like this term, but like, bad relationships. When you're in a bad relationship, and oh, no, everything is a bad relationship. Like, everything going bad, that, that's just like a norm. Like, like she's, she's not going to stick out because she's like, this is everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, you know, so, you, like, I feel like I learned more I get what about, you're saying. more about, uh, the bad, like, the things that, I don't know if it's bad, but the things that, if they were bad, then they were bad. Okay, but the things that, but the thing is, they didn't have to be. No, but, 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 but here's the thing. Here's the thing. But the, when, it, when it comes to red flags, here's the thing. Here's my love hate relationship with red flags. Okay. You love them because you realize what they are. Like when you see them, you're like, you're like, oh damn, this is something I don't like. In the future, this is not something I'm cool with. I didn't know about it until it happened. Right? Right? I didn't know about it until it happened. You, you, you love oh, you mean you love them, meaning you love the person. No, you're no. saying you huh? love the red flag because you, you see it. You see it. Uh, it's not something that got past you. It's not something that you can oh. say this came out of nowhere. I was able to locate this. Right. This is something I'm not cool with. I can't say that I didn't know. Yeah, oh, also, you love red. Okay, I got yeah, you. Because they're telling. They're, they're telling. They're telling. Yeah, right. But you also hate them because it's a hitch or a, or a thing in the relationship. A barrier. Yeah. But, you, but then you go back to saying you love them because this is something that you can, this is an opportunity to grow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, this right here. Is but that's not, not how they always thing. look at it sometimes. No, no, that's the thing. You, that's, but but you but that's that's where what you're talking about. It's all negative growth about yourself. Yeah. When you that's what that's like that's why I say I have a love hate relationship with red flags because you hate to see them, but you love the opportunity. But see, red, red flags are not just for the other person though. No, no they're for you too. Red, no, I'm saying looking at someone's red flags is not. That's not the only thing. Looking at your own. Being able to see like how you come into relationships and things that you or if you you even having. know if you have red flags exactly. you exactly. don't even know and something you that's what I'm saying this, this, this situation might be that's what I'm trying to say something, something you thought was cool exactly. was I'm not cool that's what I'm saying that's mm. what I'm saying that's why like it makes you go back and think like, yeah damn what did I what did I do that? that's the problem and then if you don't even know exactly that's right. the problem with going back and thinking and, and trying to uh. Uh, what's the word? Uh, Evaluate. Sift through, okay. Trying to sift through the things that you did because if it's just your everyday, it's just how you live your life. Then we, you don't know it's a red flag for somebody else because, every, like you said, everyone is individual. 
the thief, like the thief of joy is comparison, mm -hmm. right? So trying to sit there and compare, like, okay, this is how I do things. Maybe she, you're not gonna know that until she tells you. See, See but, but then that's, that's where that's like where good communication wrong. comes yes. in, that's because that's right. Wrong, right. right, because but you can't do anything with that situation. That's what I'm but this right here, what, this right here, and that's what makes it rough. That's what makes it a bit of a red flag because you're like not a red flag and like, oh, this is deal breaker. Oh, you're saying this is a red flag with this person. Exactly. This is an opportunity to be like, hey. Like when she finally, if, you know, if she finally comes to the point where she's like, okay, we can talk about this. I need to tell you about this. If she's willing to like, tell me about it so that we can grow through this. This is an opportunity to say like, all right, first we're going to deal with whatever it was that was off putting to you. We're mm -hmm. going to, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to understand it. I'm going to see what I did or what I didn't do or I failed to do. And we can talk about that. Now, after that, I need you to know that for me, and this is, this is me speaking as an individual, my, me, myself, for me. I don't like to leave things up in the air. I don't like to go up to the bed Where with like, issues. I don't like to go to bed angry. I don't like to go to bed with things unspoken. So the thing that you said was, y'all talked about patience. Hmm. That's not patience. It's not. It's, it's not. not. And that is a problem that I have. Is that a red flag? Oh my goodness. It might be. Let me tell you something. That's impatience because if you can't just sit back and wait, if you have to always... Listen, listen. You are absolutely right. You are 110% right. That is something that I have learned in, you know... You gotta be patient. That day by day. I am the same way. I'm the same way. I, I feel Because I don't know where we got this from, but just this idea of going to bed angry or going to bed not on good terms with some... Okay. Neo. Yo. What? The song, Neo. Move on, move on. I don't You don't know you don't know the song? I forgot what the song was called. I don't want to say What are the lyrics? Um I forgot what it was called. Okay. But I'm not gonna say this. No, but what are the it's a lyrics? Love song. No, it's not Okay now we know that Neo. What are the lyrics? <laughs> um That's Just say the lyrics. It is Neo. Is it Neo? I'm telling you, it's Neo. You I don't want to go to bed man, at you. Oh, oh no. What's that song called? But it, no. What's, What's the, the song, song called? I don't, I don't know. know. Isn't it magic? I mean. You usually they say, and them all the songs, they usually the chorus. Oh, damn. Um, what was I going to say? You said talking about his thing about impatience. Impatience. Yeah. Listen, that is something that I had to learn about myself because I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. And y'all, y'all, see y'all so y'all too quick. Right. And they're the same way. And well, and he's the same way. I don't wanna. And he's the same way. As yeah. like, no, if I'm not ready to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So and that's me too. And if it's like if it's like a big thing, mm -hmm. then no. Right, right now, I'm too angry. Exactly. To talk, I'm going to sweep this off. That's and then something come back that I learned. And, and then you know, that makes me think worse. Like, now I don't think I did something big or didn't do something big. But like, see, the you thing can't is, though, yourself like, that. like oh, I, think, I think that maybe, maybe this would be a good practice. Stop apologizing. Just stop. Because at the end of the day, if she really wants you, she going to... She gonna, uh, wait, wait, said, wait. I, and I, I also, and then if she I'm don't want you, I fucked up just now. You're right. I heard it after I said it. I fucked up just now. It's not about her. It's about me. I fucked up just now. You're right. Okay, that's me. That's me. I'm sorry. I know you're not. Trey, you didn't fuck up. It's not a fuck up. It's not like you don't. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't like. You're not like this. This isn't cause for consequence. Like, it's just like okay. Well. You know, it's just like if someone wanted to, like, start, you know, weaning themselves off of eating meat. Like, yeah, they'll, you know, eat vegetables or whatever. Sometimes they might go back to eating meat, like, maybe once or twice a week. And it's not, they didn't do anything wrong. They just, you know, okay, well, oh, dog, okay, well, I ate that meat. Okay, well, let, let me not do that again. And then continue on. Because that mindset, rather than... Dang, I just ate this meat. I'm terrible. I'm off my diet. It's I'm not progressive. This. It's not. You're beating yourself up. You're not like moving forward. You're not coming from a place of like true self-love 
and like being like, oh no, like it's cool. I'm I'm a complicated person. I'm a whole person. I have contradictions. I have all this stuff going on, and I can be that. And I'm, everybody and wants okay. to be so perfect, but too bad. Yeah, nobody's perfect. Too you bad. Just, you I just have to. I'm just gonna be straight up. I wish I could be able to last and y'all stuff. No, because he, look, when I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you and say, mm, okay. For me, I'm a person who's like a chameleon. I adapt to my situations. I adapt to my surroundings. My friend to me has said the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And if something's not going a certain way, I'm not going to be the person, you know, if, if it's just not working and if it's back and forth, back and forth, you know what I'm saying? You start to become numb to that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's to a point where, like, I know for me, you know, keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I know that there's going to be a point in time to where I'm just like, it's really, it's really so, so small to the point where it doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah. I know who I am. So I know eventually it's going to fade out. It's going to fade out. You know what I'm saying? This is not going to happen for years. No way. Because at this end of the day, it's only been a few months. So it really ain't even been, it really ain't take too much up. Right. It really ain't take up too much of my life. You know what I'm saying? It's been a few months. So it's like, I know eventually, and I know I have a little bit of that time to be like, to let it fade away. I'm not so gung ho about like, you know, just slashing it, but it's like, I'm going to be ready when I'm ready. Right. Exactly. You know? And being okay with that. And yeah. and what you were saying, I wish y'all could, I could be as relaxed and whatever. Trey, I, I may not present how, like, I may not present like this, you know, squirrel-like, you know, mentality or like this, you know, fidgety or, or anxious person or whatever, but I have, definitely go through these thoughts consistently one thing that we do each episode is that we leave our audience with um a little tidbit or saying or mantra or whatever that our guest uh wants to share or that they you know tell themselves every day or often to get themselves through hard times and so what is a saying that that you tell yourself uh you know if you don't mind i actually have a couple of mm -hmm. sayings that i use you know just really be true to yourself you know what i'm saying and be on un be unapologetic about it you know be open about certain things but you know you're okay you know nobody's better than you you're not better than anybody everybody has their everybody you know they have their things but that doesn't make you a bad person like be comfortable with you like, trust you, double down on yourself, just like J. Cole said, you know, in his latest album. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, That's funny. he said, if I'm betting on myself, then I immediately double down. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bank on yourself. Yeah. I don't know if he said immediately, but it was something along those lines. Yeah. Basically, we got trust this. yourself, yeah. double down on yourself. You know what I'm saying? I like but, that. What about you, Charm? I heard a couple of them too. Uh, mine are mostly uh, stuff that I've read. Uh, okay. Like comics. Because you know, I'm a big, big okay. nerd. But uh, one, my Blair. favorite one, uh, I might say like two or three, but my favorite one is it was done by Cap, Captain America in the movie, um, the second Avengers movie. He said, if you get hurt, hurt him back. If you get killed, walk it off. Mm. I, remember, I just remember seeing that and I was like, wow. Like that thing hit me real hard. Uh, I have to think about that. Some yeah, more. that was really, I, that one really got me. Um, there was another one by uh, by Batman. And he said, um, most men know their limits. I understood mine. I um, internalize mine and then I push past them because I didn't care about them. And that thing hit me too. Like, I was like, wow, okay. Um, and then I think 
one more, another one by Captain America. He said, um, "If I see something, if I see something going bad, I can't not, I, I can't just leave it alone. Sometimes I wish I could." Mm-hmm. All right. And I think that one sticks to me one, yeah. harder than anything else because I, I you mean, just, y'all know me, I've never been can't. able to just walk away from yeah. somebody in need. Yeah, so. like I'll go out of my way to, and we were raised like that too. Yeah, you know, so I mean, I think we were all like that to it. To a certain extent, depending on what it is. See, yeah, I think that a lot of us awesome. need to uh, like get more control over yeah. that because I, I'll put myself out. Yeah, I was about to say. Because mm-hmm. then, if you ain't got nothing to help somebody with. It's all in all, like, overcoming your limits. <clears throat> yeah. Know? Like, not believing that limits are a thing. You know? Yeah. There's a reason why it's called a glass ceiling. You know? It's meant to be broken. Okay. Well, thank you for those. Um, I'm definitely going to have to think more about that. If I get hurt, I'm going to hurt him. If I kill, uh, get killed. I'm going to walk it off. That, I really don't want That was along those lines. That. Yeah, yeah that was close. To... If you get hurt, hurt him that. Right. That's... You get killed, walk it off. Yeah, yeah, that one. I, I have to think more about that. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's something there. I just, I don't think I have to, I don't think I'm, you know, thinking about it as deeply yeah. as I should right now. I, I'm telling you, but when I heard it, I watched it like 20 times. I just can't rewind it. I don't, yeah. know, yeah. I I don't know what, what bro we're talking about. <laughs> like, like, like like I'm going, oh I'm going to be in the coffin. <laughs> like it, I was about to say, right. yeah. So he might have meant the, but no, I knew what I meant it because it was like he, he was like, you don't have a choice, mm. basically. You uh, know, like, like shit uh, is coming. We fighting against impossible. I got it. We are I got not it. Supposed to win this battle. I got it. Gonna die. But since you're going to fight, it. you might as well. I got it. Yeah. You got a job to do. Yeah. You have failure is not enough. That's basically. But the way the is or failure is an option. It ain't failure. It's failure. not the only, but it's not the end point. It's not, yeah, it's not the end point. It's the, oh, I did. Okay, well, we got, we let's got, keep going. Let's get back up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got it. That's dope. All right, and we also like to leave them with uh, either a written work or film or song or something that you are consuming uh, now at this point in time or something that you have in the past, something that you listen to, something that you watch, something that you read, uh, so that they can go and, and uh, enjoy that for themselves. Is there something that you would it like can to be like a song it or can be, it can be anything any type of work? Yeah, any type of work. Um, um I don't know. I think I don't I'm not really an avid reader anymore. Yeah. I mean I've read a lot, but I'm, college kind of wiped me clean from wanting to read. I completely but, understand. Um a couple of books that I did like, you know, I like the Kite Runner. Um, and I also like The Art of War. Mm. Uncle Clan had that in the house when we were in high school yeah. at East Mac. And I just saw it and I was like, man, I heard, I've heard of this before. And I brought it to him. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, have you ever read this? He was like, yeah, you know, I read some of it. I don't think it. Yeah. And he was like, uh, you know, you know, I think you should read it. Mm-hmm. And then. One of my kids at the YMCA, yeah. they've also, they're reading it now. Oh. Uh, Michael and Matthew, wow, they're, they're both cool. reading it. Wow, cool. Michael read it first, and Matthew's reading it now. Michael, Michael is 14, he's 13. Those kids are genius. Yeah, and Matthew's like 10 or 11. And he's reading The Art of War. But that's a really good book. Um, as far as music, I listen to music all the time. Yeah. Um, working out, doing whatever. But... An artist that I like a lot, it's Don Tolliver. Okay. If y'all haven't heard of him yet, become acquainted with Cactus Jack Records. All right. What about you, Trey? Uh, as, as far as books go, uh, I'm really, really getting back into uh, this trilogy called The Looking Glass Wars. Okay. It's basically like a... Uh, Modern day Victorian adaptation of Alice in Wonderland. It gives it a whole new spin. Oh. Like, like the characters all have different names, but you know what they're talking about. Mm. And 
Are they? Is it fantastical? Like, is it? Is it's it fantastical fantasy? with like, like a twist of like. It's got mixed into like fantasy. fantasy like, yeah. hmm? like, like it's, it's really, really like, like, like it tells like, like has a story about how someone like, like how it plays, plays into like, like the actual thing, thing that she like. like yeah. 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 Like, okay, so it it like, like goes. Like Mad Hatter, his name is Hatter. Right. Okay. I got you. It's a really cool trilogy. And as far as like music, y'all know me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if I was to plug anything, it would definitely be uh, Gustav, Gustav Holst, Jupiter, the bringer of Jolly All right. I just, I just say listen to that. Listen, listen to that all the way through. through. <laughs> and for, for those who listen, for like, like, I mean, I know, I know that's. that's no, right. yeah, I mean, but there's but something for everybody. It's, it's like, for, for me, it's something that really elicits a huge emotional response. Mm hmm. Like really, 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 really can. And, and, and music in general, general does that because that's, that's a big, big deal for me to say that. Mm. That would really elicit Jupiter, the Brim River, Jolly, I know we, you were saying that we can talk about various art forms. Yeah. Can we look at sports and athletics as an example of, of an art course. form? So, one of the things that recently <laughs> happened was. <laughs> Oh my God. You said, of course. I'm no, now listen, you. hold up. For the sake of time, the sake of time, we it's... will have to Y'all revisit. We will have to revisit Maurice's take. Wait, on... no, it, it wasn't a take. See, okay. you guys didn't even let me finish. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, first of all, I would like to say that oh my God. you know, radio and podcasting. You know, that's something that I've actually studied. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So. Lord help. Go ahead and plug yourself real quick. I'm not plugging myself. I'm just saying, you know, when it comes to this this type of thing, I feel like I can talk a little Go bit, ahead. you know? What's up? What's the... Uh... So, we talk about sports as an art form. Why do famous athletes, icons, Hall of Fame-esque players, mm-hmm. why do they get so much scrutiny? Because they're put on a national platform. Anybody who's put on a national platform is going to get scrutiny. Anybody who's put on any type of platform. People who just post on their own profiles get scrutiny. There are people who literally sit at home. Mm -hmm. They literally sit at home and all they do is talk shit about everything they see online or on TV. But what's the purpose though? What's the purpose behind it? Most of the time it's jealousy. Most of the time it's because they got nothing to do. Sometimes it's because they're getting paid. So because of that... Because of that reason, because it just being pure jealousy or pure hate, why does it hold so much weight? Because if we, if we know it's that, if we know that that's the root, why do we even care? Because they're black. Because they're black. So yeah. now we're kind of we're segueing into no, a absolutely. deeper topic. Because as if far you, as no, if you think about if you think all if you think about the the great athletes of our time, if you think about the white ones. The great athletes that are white, they don't get half as much of scrutiny than our black elite athletes. But don't the black athletes get scrutinized by black people? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, we really you know, don't scrutinize white athletes. Like, no. how many how many times have you heard somebody say something negative about Larry Bird? I, I have not. Actually, I haven't. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I mean, I think about it. But is he better than? Le, but is he better than LeBron? No, really no, no. But he's no, also he's age. also a great. He's Why also a great saying? athlete. That's no, just Larry like, Bird is a great. He's a goat. No, no, he's no. A but goat. that's just like There's that's just goats. like. I think I he's think it would goat. be better to to put Larry Bird and like Dennis Rodman. Yeah, like together. you got to think about the time frame. Just like think no, about not time frame. I'm talking but about skill even, level. But don't people even say what like are you, wait, what are you saying? I'm talking about skill level. I'm not talking about skill level. You can argue. You can argue Larry Bird and Dennis Rodman. Up against each other. Of no, course. you can't. Well, I mean, Rodman did one thing well. No, Larry Bird did he one thing very, well. It wasn't one thing. No, no, Larry Bird did more than one thing well. Larry Bird. Was Larry a Bird shooter. is known for his shooting. He was right. He was known for his shooting, but Larry he Bird was. A I, I'm he's a shooter. Larry Bird was known for his shooting, but he he's also big. He's like six. Yeah, about six nine. Yeah, so he was known he, for his. Re- he can do everything on a court. He got triple doubles. 
But hold up, so I'm talking about Reggie I'm talking about from Reggie the Miller, Ray Allen, Clay Thompson. They not really getting triple doubles because they're, they're known for their I'm talking. I'm talking about from the vantage point of. I mean, they the can, general, of course, they're NBA players. Like if we if let's let's do the generalizations, okay? That's what we're we're doing, right? That's what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. People do not look at basketball as um, intently and as from the your mindset, Maurice, mm-hmm. because you study this, you know mm-hmm. a whole lot of a whole You're lot academic. about multiple multiple, multiple sports, sports and multiple players yeah. through the decades. That. People well, right well, now who might know a little bit about basketball or like the the history of basketball, they see Larry Bird. He was a shooter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they see him. Yeah. He was a shooter. You know what? They see they see Dennis Rodman, rebounder, defense. Uh, def- defense. Like that's what they see in there. Great. Now you see them. You see all of what I see they it all. present. Right. I see it all. But that's what. But, about how you just talk about. Right. But with Michael Jordan, everybody knows that Michael Jordan. Yeah. Everybody best, knows. Arguably the, the best basketball player to ever. Play I'm not sure it's an argument. MJ is the goat, but LeBron is not far. I'm not saying he's two. I might not even be saying he's three. But he's sure not too far after that. Yeah. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is from that from that vantage point, don't play, man. From that vantage don't point, play. if you put Dennis Rodman and Larry Bird together, and you look at the amount of scrutiny that they got, mm. it's no yeah, question. Dennis Rodman also got scrutiny for other reasons. I was about to say it was. It was. Right there that's, because that's, that's, we yeah. loved him as a player. That's true. Don't, don't, don't get that's it twisted. True. He was relentless. That's, that's true. Rodman that's was true. relentless. That's true. But the hair, that's true. The, you know, everything. Yeah. I loved okay, it. Maybe, don't get me wrong. Maybe don't get, not. Don't maybe get me not wrong. I loved it. Express Rodman. yourself. But he loved, but do he what you got to do. He loved the scrutiny. Yeah, but I'm saying from from the argument of why do they get so much scrutiny? Why do great athletes? Um, yeah, he's a he's from another ilk. I mean, I get it. I get it. Okay, well, you know what? Let's not even do that. Let's not even do that. He was cool. Athletes don't get half the amount of shit that black athletes do. That's where I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? Charles, like you know what I'm saying. Because it's not just in uh, like, like sports, how you categorize sports, sports like with, or right. pretty much everybody lives with, like football, football basketball, basketball. It's not just that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know this thing. And this is me being a band nerd for a second. But a lot of people don't know this thing is. You know, you don't have to preface, you know, your arguments with. I, I know what you mean because I, I, I didn't even know that. Thank you, Mo. For those who don't know. There's this thing as professional marketing that's called drum corps. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh. And that was something I did, too. That was something I did. Yeah. Now, arguably, one of the best, at least in the past 15, 20 years, they're known as the Blue Devils. Mm-hmm. Known as the Blue Devils. They, they got, got, I believe, between 8 and 10 national championships. Like, like they, they, and they dominate. Mm-hmm. And people hate that. Mm-hmm. Because they're in the top. They, they, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what it is. People hate people, people, people on top. top. Wars, Wars are starting to shit like that. Like, like people, people are, are killed, killed for shit like that for no reason. Like, like people, people hate people, people for being for, being, for being, being systemically better than them. That's absolutely true. No, no, Maurice right. is just no, no, doing no, the no, most. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Charles is so The problem with. I'm gonna go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to make it seem like you. You, you messed up. Really. <laughs> 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 but you're not right. You are. No, you are right. He <laughs> 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 you know he was <laughs> gonna take it there though. But, 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 but I did not. Think about the base of society. You yeah. can't get ahead unless you point out flaws. Most, most of the most successful, successful people in the world, those jobs. It's a competition. It's, it's That's a competition. What capitalism it's not just, is. It's not just a competition. It's pointing out flaws. It's pointing out flaws. School. Elaborate. Okay. Let's, let's think about. Let's, let's think, think about, about a teacher. Mm-hmm. Being, being a teacher. Which, which is arguably the, the best, best profession there is. Yeah. Which is the hardest. The hardest. The hardest. 
teachers, teachers should get paid as much as doctors. More. Because they teach doctors. Doctors don't really make a whole lot of money. I feel like, like as far as, like as far as making that money, as far as salary goes, yeah, that should be. Like, like anything, anything, any transfer, like, like any transfer, transfer to like a human, like as far as, yeah, you know, yeah. helping them. And, and now yeah. with teaching, you're doing yeah. knowledge. Yeah. That, 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 that should be in the same type of salary. Yeah. Yeah. That should be in the same yeah. conversation. Kim Bill. Kim Bill did that shit. What did they say? What are we treating our teachers like we do our athletes? I don't get why we don't. No, but that's not, you can't really put that on. The only thing is, here's, I feel like that's a catch for you too because. You get like, like yes, yes industry. Yes, yes, teachers should be teachers should, should be paid, paid on the level that have to pay. They, they should. They, they, they just should. should. Like, like I'm not I'm see. I'm not sure about the max contract millions. millions. No, but, but I'll, I'll say, say as far as, as I would say. say I would say as far as doctors, hundred k, two hundred k, three hundred k, five hundred k, somewhere in there. You can't, you can't really, really fault athletes, athletes for that because, because that's what they, nobody's faulting athletes, athletes, athletes for that. Okay, okay. You, you can't, can't fault athletes, athletes for that because that's, that's the industry, really that's the market, that's, that's the millions. Yeah, no one's they, they make one's, millions. No one. Well, some people might be, but if yeah, I'm, I'm talking about, about this from my vantage point of it, I'm not putting it on the players. Everything is not. Everything I'm saying is not always. Direct, direct attack, attack on someone. someone. What, what I'm saying, saying is, you're attacking. No, 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 okay, word okay. correctly. So Charles is. I'm, I'm not, not trying, trying to. Like, you okay? It's not like you good. What, what I'm saying. Is, we're talking about athletes. What I'm saying. What I'm saying is. What I'm, what I'm trying, trying to say. To say that, that the, the reason the way things are the way they are is because we, as in society, men, whatever, made it that way with what we want. Yeah. People, people are going to put more value, value and more interest, interest more everything into the stuff, stuff that they want. want. Yeah. For, For some, some reason, reason America, America itself prizes itself more entertainment. entertainment. Just, Just like, like most large civilizations, civilizations the Romans, the Vikings, Vikings, Vikings. I was just about to say, if you like, look like at history. All Always, always put, put more in entertainment, put more, more into, put more value into entertainment. entertainment. Mm -hmm. Think, Think about, about the Coliseum. I mean, they, they were watching, watching people kill each other. And, and, the, and the bloodier the better. Amused. The, the bloodier the better. better. Right? right. And, then, and then it became games. games. Like, like the Vikings turned them into, into games. games. Like, and they made all that games. games. And, and uh, uh, Britain, uh, or like, uh, you know, it's really interesting to me that we really only have context for like European shit. Like, like, what were the you black get what I'm saying? Doing? Yeah, like, I know exactly what you're saying. Because I always <laughs> think about. What <laughs> you thinking about? You thinking about? Like, like what, what were we doing? doing? Right. Well, like, well, like, like you know? what was going on with us? It's like, not really our, I mean, Trey, it's, it's, I'm not it's, saying. It's, I'm not. It's, no. It's it's, it's bullshit. bullshit. What I'm saying it's not us because we should go out and learn. That. No. So, that's, That's not, not what, what I'm saying, saying at all either. No. I mean, yes. Do do white people have to go out and learn for their Europeans? No, they're taught that in right, school. Right, exactly. And That's the what same I'm thing saying. for black people. We should be no. taught that in school. You didn't you didn't they should have books you didn't for go us too. out and like search it out when you were younger to like oh uh, in Tennessee what were they doing? Da -da -da. They're making it no. illegal to teach African American history. It's not. It's not. If you can teach European ourselves. history, they why can't burn. you teach, teach African American history? Right. They, There's African Americans in this class, and we, and we built, built this damn country. country. They killed they over 500,000 500, Moors and burned countless amounts of scribes and and, and scrolls and, scribes, and ancient, ancient texts. Text. They, they burned, burned a whole basically they burned our shit down. <laughs> the largest <laughs> library known to man. At that, At that time, time they, they burned, burned it down. down. Countless amounts of, of they shit erased lost. our history. That's yeah, what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's fucked up. up. Like, like that, that you talk about that, true I evil. Making, I was just making a, a little, you know, tidbit. That's like it's really true interesting because we all do it. Like we all know about the Romans. We all know about the Greeks. We all know about British. We all know about France. We all know about all of the stuff that they had and had. And it's, it's like, like we, don't we don't have anything. Yeah, unfortunately, to the victor goes spoils. We don't. Yeah, yeah they. It, we don't have that's, anything. That's, 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 that's the messed up part about. That's who writes history. Whoever won, 
But like, how, how you gonna write a book you know, if you ain't got that? This right here is another reason why, and this is gonna sound so crazy. This is another like what you said. What you said about history, like the figures as well. This is another reason why I plug in anime so much because they they should like like anime all the time. Like they talk about because one of the this gonna sound so wild. One of, one of the, the biggest, biggest villains, villains in the history of uh, anime, anime or Naruto, 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 Naruto. Naruto. Great Ninja, Great Ninja War, all that. He, he said, said, he was he like, was like oh, oh, his speech. What did it say? What did it say? Uh, said, wake, said, wake, wake up to reality. reality. Uh, nothing, nothing ever, ever goes planned in this cursed world. world. Uh, as, long as long as, uh, uh, I can't remember everything. The more you live, the more you realize that the only thing, the only thing, Constant, constant or whatever in this world, world is pain, pain something, something until it all just kept, kept going, going. Uh-huh. and then he and said, he said um, as, long as long as there is light, light there will always be shadows, shadows found, found as well uh-huh. the, the, those, those who want to preserve peace, peace initiate wars uh-huh. and as long as, long as, long as there are victors the bank 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 will also exist those who want to preserve peace will also what initiate wars in what because, because if you want to preserve, like, there will always be shadows to be found as well. If you want to preserve peace, you're going to do what you have to do to have that peace. People use the, 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 the people. I really, I really wanted, wanted to go to the part where it says, as long as, long as there are victors, victors the vanquished, vanquished will also exist. The only, the only thing we know absolutely. are the ones who are the ones in charge. Yeah. How many times, like, and just going off of what you were saying, saying like, how many times have, have, have not, not just, just our. our well, well, mostly, mostly our, our mostly, mostly our, our uh, uh, his history, all that, all that stuff, 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 stuff erased because we lost. Mostly our, no, no. Our. our, all of let's our. Let's not take away from like what? Asian history, history and stuff like, like, like there, there when, when they were, were like, like Asian, Asian history. Asian, Asian history. history. Oh, you talking, talking about? I'm talking about, talking about in the world, the world as in everybody. everybody. You, mean you mean all of the dynasties that we have to learn about? Uh, in uh, a whole, whole section, so yeah. Yeah. Yes. they they defeated the come down dynasties. Okay. As long as, as, long as they're like victors. victors. No, Trey. The hold on, hold on, hold on. But hold on, hold on. But wait, 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 wait. Let me let me say that this real validate. quick. That let me say validate. this real quick. We don't validate. have jack, jack shit, truly, truly. Going, going back, back way back, back the way that we do. In, in, in for Asian for cultures. Well, no, well, no because, because like, Asian cultures fought with, 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 with a word, word that, that unfortunately, uh, uh, the, 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 the white white man didn't know it was called Paul Connor. And when they, and when they, they defeated, defeated certain things, I just, but Trey, Trey you, understand you understand what I'm what saying, saying, right? right? Yeah, I get, yeah, I, get I get what you're saying. saying. I, get I get that there there, there are there reasons are why their history, history was preserved. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. Are there are reasons, reasons why, why our, history our history was not, not because, because it was, it was burned, burned to the freaking ground. You literally, you literally, you're literally, literally, literally right, now. right now. I just, I just said, said because, because when I when said, I said the thing about, about the Asian Asian dynasties and those who like the ones we learned about and all that stuff, and there are still some some that we may not know about because they may have gotten rid of it. But then you made the point of probably not, and I was like, right, right. And I meant it right because they fought for honor, where they preserved and respected. Yeah, yeah. You're still missing my point, though. You're still missing my point. The white men did not fight for honor, and they took the time to erase or try to erase. Yeah, Those but I don't, I, but you get what I'm saying, Maurice? Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. He's, He's saying, saying, saying you're saying Charles, Charles is saying, saying that they're censoring us. us. They, 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 they burned, burned it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And yeah. now we don't have shit. I mean, we do. We made, you know. They, but they still don't present our own things. Like we don't have the history we have, of like villages right. and things of that nature Thank in Thank you. in Africa. We had to the learn. same way that everybody we else. Had, we had to learn. Why, why do we have to go learn it when everybody else? It, right. It can be why in that we taught that? I. You know what's crazy? Remember when we were in? Uh, uh, I forgot the man's name. History class. No, uh, East Mac. History, history class, class with um, um crazy, crazy man, man. The, the history, history professor. professor. He looking at you like. Uh, it was the history, history class we all had to Charles, together. Charles, we didn't all have. With well, Liana oh, and John and oh, yeah, all of them. No, I he, I this was East Mac. I remember because he was like a softball coach or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At State, I remember. I remember. Was it Mr. Staten? Staten. Staten. Mr. Staten. And I liked I just, him. No, he was dope. I just remember we had to learn a whole bunch of Euro- European history. Then we went into Asian history. 
and that was it. Like, because it was world, because it was world history. You know, and I was like, wait a second. Well, that's that's made they may also be because they associate American as like Black history. They associated with American history as well because I'm not, but I'm not talking about Black history. I'm talking about Africa though. Yeah, I'm talking about Africa. We learned nothing. We didn't, we didn't touch, touch an African, African country. country. When everybody black. When, every, <laughs> like, when everything comes from black. Yeah. But we went way, way to... That's how you know how... Back. That's how you know how... What? what? I was going to say that's how you know how insecure they are. No, for no, real. For real. That's so like, crazy. Like, how you like, are that distraught over, over your, your own mediocrity. Yeah, like... That are you serious? pillage... Whole villages and countries. It's funny. That's what I always say. That's what I always say. That's what I always say. That's what because if you got a, if you have a white man who has, who has an average, average amount of knowledge and a decent, and a decent professional, professional look. He'll get, He'll get that, that job, job over the black oh, man. Oh, I'm coming there, coming there, laser sharp, 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 sharp can, can give you everything. everything. You know? You know? Yeah. It's ridiculous. And above yeah. average. On a, on a, from an intelligence standpoint, you look up professional looks. You look up professional looks. Like you, like you hear him say something. Like a professional look. You black dude, you black dude, like Grizz. In a suit. In a suit. That pissed me off. That really pissed me off. I was mad about that for a minute. It's crazy. I was mad about that for a minute. But y'all come, but y'all come from us. There was this. Like what? It's Ashbrook High School. Yeah, the Colonel. Yeah. They they they, 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 they denied this dude a diploma. Bro, they done that. I know, but they do it all throughout South Carolina and Georgia. Right, right. He couldn't walk. He couldn't walk because no, he couldn't. Um, he couldn't go. And guess what I say? They it was two kids that couldn't uh go to their school. Was it this they school had or graduation? We might be talking about different stories then. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah so, so since we went on another we tangent. On tangent. Um, it's a special episode. It is a very, yeah, very special, special episode. episode. Uh, I want to thank you two for coming on to the show. This was very nice. I appreciate your time. I can't. Oh, 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 oh. See, this is, is, is dancing. I would, I would not have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I would be just like this. Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah, thank I you so much. Uh, I will have the links to all of the books and the um, song. No, did y'all say song? song? I said an artist. An artist, yeah. I one, of, one, of, one of Don Tyler's Because we went on a tangent. Yeah, Usually I would call what you need. Anyway. I will play, I, will, your I, will, I will have links to all of the works that they uh, suggested and uh, any other information, their social media accounts and everything. Oh yeah, give it a follow. And everything for uh, for all of you. Again, thank you, Maurice. Thank you, Trey, for coming. Also, also, in case you need a personal trainer, let me know. Mr. Heppin, Mr. Heppin. Oh my lord. Personal trainer. You know he can definitely choose to cut this out. You're right. You're right. <laughs> hey, hey, first of all, hold on. Hold on. It's going to be a lot of editing. Oh, my goodness. Help us, help us, help us. Anyway, thank you. And help us all, help us. Oh, my God. I can't. Help. 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 Oh, God. Okay. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. Are we cutting it off now? Yes. <laughs>